to God, all things are possible. Welcome, my beautiful brothers and sisters, connecting from all over Mother Earth on this great New Year's Eve, where the current is flowing from the portal of the Casa de Dominacio, the house of love, where the medicine is love here in Abidjania, in the heart of Brazil. And we are embracing the last few hours of this difficult year. And we're being held in this spectacular high vibration here from the portal of the Casa. And we have another glorious day, fluffy white clouds passing slowly by reminding us of our impermanence and this too will pass. All things are impermanent and of course it's amazing that another year has passed. Tempest fugit. I think there's still 24 hours in the day although I'm not certain of that. We're not certain of anything. And you may be able to hear the birds serenading us in a divine symphony. They're delighted with themselves. They are happily enjoying abundance here and the rain has brought so much to all of us, nourishing our crops. And of course, water is life itself. And there's flowers everywhere, all colors and fragrances. And Mother Nature is such a generous giver and we have a lot to learn from her. Flowers are not in competition with each other, they just are. They give us generously of their fragrance. As do birds, they don't sing for applause, they just are so kind and giving. So we're being held in this majestic wonderful energy on this beautiful day and we're greatly cared for and loved by Mother Earth. So wherever you are in the world, relax and let's dedicate ourselves to this divine work. If you're lying down, great. If you're under a crystal bed, this is super. And if you prefer to sit upright as we do in the current, feet firmly on the ground to ground us to the earth. Don't cross your body in any way. Heads elevated so this energy can flow fluidly, freely and easily, connecting us across the miles. This marvelous current of love and light. And put a glass of water beside you. This will be blessed and we drink it to nourish us mind, body and spirit. And as we close our physical eyes, leaving the material world behind with all of its stresses, its problems, its difficulties, we open our spiritual eyes where we can see beyond appearances all there is. We are reminded again and again that we're spiritual beings having a human experience and not the other way around. We're not the body, we're so much more. The body merely houses our eternal spirits. And we're not living eternally in these physical bodies we have an expiration date and we move in and out of perishable bodies and we have so much help available to us from beyond the veil all of these unseen beings these phenomenal entities of light and love and today as it is the end of the year we celebrate our beautiful Saint Rita of Cassia, reminding us that nothing is impossible. She's known as the saint of the impossible and she's with us every step of this journey. 
and she's a very special connection with the Casa de Dominacio. She was the very first entity to appear to Medium Joao when he was just eight years old, a boy, appearing on a cloud and instructing him of his mission. And he often has tears in his eyes when he recalls seeing this most beautiful woman in the world on a cloud. And she really is with us on this journey. She was a wife, then a mother, then a widow, and finally a nun. And she lived to the fullest of her femininity. And she lived for 40 years in, as a nun in the old Saint Maria Magdalena's convent in Cassia in Italy, where her incorrupt body lies to this very day. She lived over 500 years ago. And she drew inspiration from Saint Augustine's rule. Come caritach in Dio servito that is, with charity in total service to God, which is the foundation of monastic life. And she also lived St. Augustine's rule of serving God with fast and prayers. Rita gave herself completely to God. She was not interested in other objects or beings. And she was dedicated to nothing other than God alone. Saint Rita would regularly bring food to the poor, which her husband prohibited her from doing. She married a cruel man and she prayed that God would enlighten him, which God did during the course of her life. And one day her husband confronted her as she was leaving to bring bread to the poor. And the bread was concealed in Rita's robes. And when she uncovered the bread, as her husband demanded, the bread became roses. And Rita was spared her husband's wrath. And at the end of her life, when Rita was bedridden in a convent, she bore the stigmata of the crown of thorns on her forehead, which caused her great suffering. She had such a dedication to Jesus. And as she lay there in her last few months, a visiting friend asked if there was anything Rita wanted. She replied that she would like a rose from her father's garden. And it was January, and this seemed like an impossible request. But her friend went to look and discovered a singly, bright, brightly coloured blossom on the bush and brought it to her. This wonderful red rose. And roses represent God's love for Rita and her ability to intercede on behalf of lost causes or impossible cases. And every year on the 22nd of May, on her anniversary, the casa is filled with beautiful fragrant red roses, the odour of sanctity of her wound. And many of us get the smell of roses in and around the chapel and the casa and also wherever we are in the world the entities know no borders no boundaries no time or space saint rita is always with us and we are gifted this fragrance of the sanctity of rita's roses
reminding us that she is always with us, helping us every step of this journey. As we turn now to our brother Jesus, whom Rita dedicated her life to, and suffered greatly with the stigmata on her forehead, all for the love of Jesus. And Jesus invites us to pray the Lord's Prayer, which he gave us all as a gift, reminding us that before we pray, we need to forgive in the spirit of Saint Rita, as she did her husband's killers, and for God to take her sons to heaven so early she was left alone in the world. She had nothing but forgiveness in her hearts. As we enter into a new year, let us let go of anything and everything that no longer serves us, forgiving ourselves and our brothers and sisters as we journey on the paths with all of our brothers and sisters and Saint Rita with Jesus. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation rather deliver us from evil For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, now and forever. Amen. And we turn to our Divine Mother Mary, the Mother's Heart, the Feminine Power, Mother Earth, Queen of Peace. We ask you in this sacred moment to intercede for us, your children, to somehow alleviate the suffering of humanity in these dark days on earth as we go on the inner journey of the heart. To help us to find the peace, the harmony, the tranquility, the compassion, the humility, the gratitude, the joy, the love, the forgiveness, deep, deep within us. And it is within all of us, we are divine beings, helping us all incarnate and disincarnate on our healing journey back home, merging into the light, out of separation, into oneness. One heart, one soul, one light, one love, one family. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us children, now and at the hour of our passing. Amen.
we go on a voyage of discovery, getting to know our dear Saint Rita of Cassia. Not only is she the saint of impossible cases, she's also the patron saint of sterility, abuse victims, loneliness, marriage difficulties, parenthood, widows, the sick, bodily wounds, and all ailments of the body, mind, and spirit. Saint Rita will help us with anything. Even from when she was a baby, there was something really special about Rita. In her cot, even bees peacefully entered and exited her mouth without causing her any harm or injury. And instead of being alarmed for the baby's safety, her family was mystified by this sight. And all indications were that Rita's life was to be marked by industry, virtue, and devotion. She was an only child, born to an aged mother. So many miracles with Saint Rita. And she wanted to enter, enter the convent when she was 12. But her mother and father wanted her to be looked after and vowed her to be married to a man who was pretty brutal with her. And she obeyed her parents. She was such a beautiful soul. And she had two sons and she prayed that her husband would see God. And when her husband was brutally murdered, she prayed that her sons would not vendetta the murder. And that God would take them to heaven rather than then go through the heaviness and the sin of vendetta. And she sacrificed her sons to God. And all alone in the world, she then turned to the convent of St. Mary Magdalene and asked to be admitted there to dedicate her life to Jesus. But because of the vendetta, the nuns did not want to take the risk of having strife in the convent. And Rita knelt outside and prayed and prayed in all weathers. And she was rescued by her patrons, Saint Augustine, Saint Nicholas of Tolentino, and the co-patron of the Casa, Saint John the Baptist, who miraculously transported her through the walls of the convent and deposited her inside Mary Magdalene's Basilica in Cassia, which astonished the nuns. And for the last 15 years of her life, she bore the stigmata of our brother Jesus. She prayed 
Let me, Jesus, share in your suffering at least one of your thorns. Rita's mother and father were known as peacemakers of God, as was Rita. And as we step forward into a bright new year, full of hope and joy and love and forgiveness and humility, with Saint Rita and Jesus by our side. We ask our beloved Saint Rita to help us all going forward to alleviate the suffering of humanity and to help us to find the healing of mind, body and spirit As we walk in the light and love and forgiveness of our brother Jesus. Oh God, source of all peace and loving guardian of charity, Look kindly on us and turn your merciful gaze on all of our families. You see our families, O oh Lord, as they are, torn by dissension and with peace banished from them. Have pity on us and grant that peace may return to our midst. O oh Jesus, King of Peace, grant this to us all by the merits of your Blessed Mother, Queen of Peace, and by the merits of your faithful servant, Saint Rita of Cassia, who you wished to be born to parents who were called the peacemakers of Jesus, and whom you enriched with so much charity and gentleness so as to make Saint Rita an angel of peace wherever she saw discord or strife. May you, O oh beloved Saint Rita, obtain this favour for all of us from God. And we shall always glorify your protection, your love, in every necessity of our lives. Amen.
is the chart, the statue of Saint Rita. Dear sister, St. Rita of Cassia, reminding us that nothing is impossible going forward. And if we cannot find peace, it is because we have forgotten that we belong to each other and that we're all in this together. One heart, one soul, one light, one love, one family. We're just walking each other home on earth. 
And this year has been a massive wake up call for all of us. And we need to be in gratitude for these lessons, hard and all as they may be. We are all enrolled in the school of life. And there's lessons to be learned through thick and thin. We're learning patience for sure. <laughs> and we're learning to be present wherever you are, be there. And we're certainly learning to be in gratitude for everything, this life we have been given. We take so much for granted. Hugging each other, just being able to have a conversation in person, the simple things in life. We're really on the paths now, embracing these lessons and asking God to give us the strength to learn them. A lesson will be repeated until it is learned. But most of all, we are learning to open our hearts, which is our mission on earth. And St. Rita is helping us with this journey. We're learning to love ourselves, not to be giving ourselves a hard time to love our brothers and sisters. What you see in others exists in you, the human condition. And we're learning to forgive ourselves. We're always beating ourselves up. We're doing the best we can. And to forgive our brothers and sisters. Saint Rita forgave everyone, everything. Forgave God, knowing that there's a bigger picture. This work of liberation is so necessary. Forgiveness is unlocking the door to set someone free and realizing we were the prisoner all along. Let go of anything and everything that no longer serves us. We ask for favors and God gives us opportunities. And we are walking into a new earth paradigm full of opportunities to love and forgive and let go. In the spirit of Saint Rita, let us pray.
will learn to love you, my soul, my child. In the same way as I am learning to love my brother.
mask in this beautiful high vibration of the endless possibilities that are born of fates. Walking with our sister, Saint Rita of Cassia, who was there for us every step of this journey. Let us be open to receive her graces now, to fortify us going forward into a bright, better, miraculous new year, full of joy and peace and harmony, brotherhood, sisterhood, forgiveness. having faith and believing in the power of God, knowing that all is in divine order, we're exactly where we're meant to be. God did not bring us this far to abandon us. As we relax now, eyes closed, body open to receive, taking a long, slow, gentle, deep, deep breath into the heart center, the center of our being. Breathing in the future with all of its hope, its promise, its peace, its joy, its love, its forgiveness, its happiness, its faith, charity, generosity, freedom. resentments, anything that no longer serves us. Just let go. Trusting. Believing. In the power of the divine. For miracles to manifest. Everywhere and in everything. In our mind's eye now, let's visualize a waterfall, like the waterfall here at the Casa, or any place of sacred running water that we know, with all the gifts of Mother Nature, big blue butterflies helping us with our transformation as we shift dimensions. We're well on the way. Totally supported and loved. Strong green oak trees purifying our oxygen. Birds of paradise generously, happily, serenading us in divine symphonies all over Mother Earth. The dawning of a new era of love and light. Carpets of magnificent, fragrant red roses of Saint Rita, blessing us being kissed by hummingbirds and bees. And even more butterflies. Brilliant sunshine and crystal clear waters embodying rainbows of light. Let's all go to this beautiful place together. Bring your family and friends with you and bring those you need to forgive in the spirit of Saint Rita. And those that need to forgive you, just let go. This is why we're back on Earth. Saint Rita will give us the courage to liberate ourselves from anything and everything that's stopping us, holding us back from becoming more. This is our time. We rise by lifting others. Let's liberate everyone and forgive everyone, everything, ourselves too. 
the path is before us open wide. Let's seize the moment with nothing to fear. And let's bring anyone who's particularly struggling, and there are so many. Our brothers and sisters who are suicidal, depressed, desolate, desperate, anxious, feeling unloved, unwanted, homeless. The children of the world, they're innocent, they don't need to suffer. Our brothers and sisters languishing in migrant camps. Liberate them now, we're all children of God, no exceptions. We're all in this together. Anyone who's suffering at the hands of extreme weather, climate change, hurricanes, earthquakes, tornadoes, drought, famine, flooding. God is merciful and will hear our prayers, always listening to us. And let's bring Medium Chuhao into this high vibration. Saint Rita takes care of him and Anyone who has suffered or who is suffering on account of the problems of the casa. And we never forget our brothers and sisters without their physical bodies. They need to be liberated into the light, extending this beautiful cleansing, healing energy to them also. Every being deserves to be healed whether we have a body or not. And as we receive this glorious high vibration from on high into our open hearts. Let's share our bounty with the world. There's much more than enough love and light to go around. Bringing this high vibration into all hospitals, helping our angel doctors and nurses, healthcare professionals, patients and anyone who's in a caring capacity now on Mother Earth. Gushing forth into all nursing homes, helping our elders into hospices, prisons, orphanages, asylums, anywhere, everywhere on planet Earth where brothers and sisters are suffering in pain or are hungry. This God light pouring forth into all war zones, anywhere there's riots, disharmony, conflict, fighting, bringing peace in our lifetime. St. Rita and her parents were the peacemakers of God. Always with us. To God, all things are possible, not only for ourselves, in our hearts, minds, bodies, on earth, and for future generations to come. This unstoppable high vibration penetrating the consciousness of our government leaders and anyone who's in a position of authority over another human being, helping them to wake up to our divine essence. We are the children of God. No exceptions. Our leaders have a great responsibility to do the right thing. God sees everything. And stop this clamoring for power, lies, greed. God has the ultimate power. There are consequences to our actions. We will need to answer for them. And let's start simply by putting people before profit. Make this our New Year resolution. In this sacred moment, this pristine, crystal clear energy, gushing forth into all of our ecosystems, regenerating, regrowing, nourishing, Mother Earth already bouncing back. Hallelujah, praise God. God is great. Miracles abound. Right here, right now, this majestic high vibration enveloping Gaia, Mother Earth. Heart and Earth have the same letters. 
growing, expanding, multiplying, cleansing and healing all beings, incarnate and disincarnate, all creatures great and small, as it gushes forth into infinity. May all beings with and without bodies, all creatures in all universes of the God consciousness be healthy, happy, grateful, kind, humble, joyful, aware, mindful, and be at peace and harmony and tranquility with this beautiful, ever-growing current of love and light. As we enjoy the closing minutes of this wonderful work for this year hard to believe we are in such gratitude for this opportunity for us all to come together All these long months, we thank God Almighty for wakening us up 
in this collective consciousness, one family, under the banner of the Casa de Dominacio, the house of love, where the medicine is love. For us to be able to have the fortitude and the strength and the courage for time and time again coming together in faith, hope, love, charity. For increasing our trust in the power of God to bring us through these trials and tribulations that we're all experiencing on earth through the Casa family to help us to realize we're not alone, we're all children of God. And to lift us up in these dark days so we can help each other in brotherhood and sisterhood, realizing that we're all interconnected, all part of the same shining web the same family, brothers and sisters in the light, the God consciousness, all there is, sacred trinity of innumerable names. And thank you, God, for sending all of your beautiful messengers of love always, infinitely. Ascended masters, angels, archangels, guardian angels, elevated beings, unseen spirits, and these phenomenal entities of light and love with us 24 seven, never leaving our side. All we need to do is to reach out and ask with a contrite heart and we will receive all blessings. All our prayers will be answered always. Help us to have faith and to trust and to believe in the power of your infinite mercy and love, dear God. And with absolute and utter gratefulness, thank you for sending your servant, our sister, Saint Rita of Cassia. All compassionate, all loving, all forgiving. So beautiful. Helping us in these difficult days to love and to forgive everyone, everything, particularly ourselves, when it's hard. For her to be with us every step of this journey as we move forward, upwards, onwards, into the light of God. And thank you for sending our brother Jesus, Prince of Peace, whom Saint Rita bore the stigmata on her forehead of the crown of thorns. Her love for Jesus was just unequaled. And our Divine Mother Mary, Queen of Peace, their sacred hearts beaming out their love light to all of us in this valley of tears, helping us to wake up to our divine essence and realize that life is short. And when the lessons are learned and they're hard right now, then we will be liberated into their open arms in the celestial fields with all of these holy beings, all saints, all of God's messengers of love. Where there's no more suffering and no more pain. How great is that? And to you, my beautiful, brave, courageous brothers and sisters, pilgrims on the path, for time and time again, dedicating yourself in this holy hour or so to this necessary divine work so needed now on Mother Earth for your commitment, your courage, your faith, your hope, your light, your patience, your love 
to be in service in all things for the greater glory of God. Love and service. You're making a huge difference to the vibration of the planet. As we learn to live by faith and not by sight, there is a bigger picture. We are so supported and loved. Believe this. It's true. Faith moves mountains. Your faith is healing you, your family and friends. All of your extended family, all of those around you and Mother Earth. And your love and your light beaming out from your open hearts is changing the world forever for the better. We are the change we need to see in the world. Take heart, take courage, stay elevated. We we'll get there, united we stand. We are rising by lifting our brothers and sisters. We're all in this together, walking each other home. You're doing a phenomenal job. Upwards, onwards. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let us pray. In the spirit of Saint Rita. As we shift dimensions into a whole new world of love, peace, compassion, harmony, to restore the plan of power and love and forgiveness on earth. One family, O oh God of mercy and peace, you gave to Saint Rita of Cassia the grace to love even those who live by hatred and revenge. As you so graciously blessed her, we ask you to bless our families. Through the intercession of Saint Rita, model of patience and fortitude, bless and protect us all from all selfish ways. Make us all grow strong in the spirit of charity and forgiveness. And just like your servant Saint Rita, may we be faithful peacemakers in our families, in our neighborhoods, and in all of the world, now and forever. Amen. Love, loving, love. Namaste.